So, this event happened around the time when I was 14. That day my parents left the house to go somewhere, so I was left home alone with my dog. I was in the kitchen making a snack with my dog sleeping on the floor behind me. From the back of the house I heard a woman's voice call my name. I thought I was just hearing the sounds of the house, so I ignored that voice. Then it happened again, but louder. My dog woke up and started going towards the back of the house like she heard it too. I freaked out, grabbed my dog and waited outside until my dad and brother came home. After I did some digging on the history of the house, I found out that apparently an old woman died in our house a few years before we moved in. I wouldn't have thought anything of it, but the fact that I wasn't the only one that heard that voice slash sound, creeped the ever-living shit out of me. So this story happened around 5 years ago. I was 18 years old at the time, staying in a house at my village which was built in mid 2000s. I have just lied down on my bed, around 12 at night, from which I had direct view of the kitchen. In the same room at the time where my grandfather and my brother were just talking to each other. As I was standing there, I saw a weird figure in the kitchen, directly looking at me. My eyes were wide open, as I just lied down and I could clearly hear the conversation between my grandfather and my brother. I look at the figure looking at me. It was a man around his 70s, with a red vest, a crook made of wood, and a round black top hat. He was looking at me pretty calm, I look at him completely calm. He is not moving an eye. After 10 seconds or so, I turned the other way, interrupted my grandfather and asked him, does great grandfather used to wear a red vest, a black top hat and used a crook? My granddad widens his eyes and simple says yes, what? In reply, what I got, which the tone and the calmness brings me chills to this day, was, well, he is standing in the kitchen. Of course, we all looked and no one was in the kitchen. My granddad was pretty moved, I was as well, as my great granddad died well before I was born, therefore I've never seen him. I didn't even see the pictures of him, since the pictures from that time do not exist. We looked, and to be frank even if they did, there were not going to be colored, just black and white, and his things have been thrown away from the house that he was born in, which is now destroyed. I never saw my great grandfather again, but this appearance still haunts me to this day. During this experience, I was with a friend of mine. We went to visit a guy at his house. For confidentiality, I'll refer to him as Tom. Tom was known for claiming to be able to see and talk to spirits. He was actually a really nice and friendly guy, and didn't come across like he was crazy or anything. He had a wife as well who was downstairs the entire time during this event, while we were upstairs. He definitely took the spirit thing seriously though, as he had a whole setup, and many expensive audio recording devices. He told us that he did a lot of testing with these devices, and found that only one of them was capable of recording the sounds of a spirit. 
Tom had a couple spirits in his home that were particularly there a lot. He wanted to try having us communicate with one of them using this audio recorder. He took us to a bedroom in the home, this was about 8 p.m. or so, and it was dark, saying that she, the spirit, was in there, then adjusted some of the lights because, according to him, it was the most comfortable for the spirit. He then gave us the recorder, and told us to ask questions, doesn't matter which. Tom told us that the spirit liked red cars and Elvis Presley a lot, to get an idea of her interests. After the question, we then had to pause and give the spirit time to give her response. Tom left the room and went back to his own room, then we started asking questions ranging from do you like red cars, to do you have wings, and so forth. After we were finished, we went back to the room that Tom was in. He took our audio recording, slowed it down and raised the volume, and indeed, we were able to hear audible voice-like responses to most of the questions we asked. Many were unintelligible, but Tom, being experienced with this, interpreted them and told us what was being said. They were generally friendly responses. We went in another time to ask more questions. Afterwards when we were done, we found from the recording that the spirit was excited to see us again, saying hello before we even started to ask a question if this was a real spirit it was likely a friendly one however there was also a second spirit tom told us about but he was a less outgoing one and was hanging out in the bathroom <laughs>